Merry Christmas guys. So this bench has seen lots of activity over the year so far and we have a week of it left. But while making videos, without doubt, things happen, yeah. Things fall over, you suddenly find that you completely lose the ability to string a coherent sentence together. Yeah, it all goes into blah blah and whatever. Things don't work out the thing you you see, I did it then. Things don't work out the way you think they will. Okay. So here's a little selection of outtakes for you at Christmas. Hope you enjoy this. And I have now pretty much a full schedule of videos to keep you guys entertained all the way from Christmas to New Year. And of course, on New Year, well, we'll get together again, guys, and we'll probably have some more outtakes. Okay. So thank you very much to all of you for watching. And I hope you enjoy this little selection. Have a mince pie, a beer, a brandy or a wine. Whatever takes your fancy. Enjoy. Oh, ah, uh, see, 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 oh, ah, uh, see. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair and another video sponsored by PCBWay. Ah, ah. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair and another video sponsored by PCBWay. I have some circuit boards here, PCBs. These were supplied by PCBWay.com. This is typical of the sort of PCB. Why did I knock that thing? Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair and another, another, another video. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. One, two, two, one, two, oh, ah, see, see, oh, ah, see, oh, ah, see. Obviously, the printer's still working. Yay! Good. My hero. Oh, oh. oh ah, see. Hi, guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. Let me put myself in the middle of the picture. Ha. The way this chip works, it has a oscillator so the frequency is set by oh fuck's sake it stopped i made a lot of checks around here couldn't see anything obviously wrong so i then built a similar circuit it's not the same it's similar this is an led flasher built on variable i then i then tried three other chips all doing the same thing so Hi guys, we'll do something a bit different today. We'll see how it goes. So, I have a few different jobs in. Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. We'll do something a bit different today. I'm not sure how much repair is going to get done in this video. I'll just mention now, I have a few jobs in. i been asked on the first one. I gave them a, a, sort of a maximum price if I can fix it at this price. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a few jobs in the workshop today. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. We'll do something a bit different today. I'm not sure how much actual repair is going to get done on this video, but we'll see. So I have a few jobs in the workshop I need to look at. The first one is a car stereo four channel amplifier. The guy says one of the front channels isn't he didn't say it wasn't working. He just says it was making horrible, like, thumping. Almost, like, the best way I can describe it. German guy. So his English wasn't perfect, and my German isn't brilliant. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. We'll do something a little bit different today. I have a few jobs in, so I'm not sure exactly how much repair is going to get done in this video. I'll mention now. We will see. The first job is a audio amplifier, a car amplifier. The guy who brought it in tells me one of the front speakers. Is, uh. Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a few jobs in today. I have absolutely no doubt that capacitor has failed. How about the other one? 
I mean, it's reading slightly low. By the way, just put it back on again. It was 2,000 rather than 2,200, but it ain't far off. Yeah, uh, that's 2,200. It reads exactly right. How about this one? Well, that one reads low. It reads about 900. And actually, that's the one that looked better. Although, with a certain angle, it did look like it was cracked. That's the wrong looking one. Hmm. Ah, that isn't faulty, actually. I took the wrong one out. Yeah, watch what you're doing. This will happen. I actually want to get that one out. Okay, let's get the right one. Uh, okay, supply rails first. He's in first. Here's number two. So same thing again, the current limiter is on. Attach the power lead, switch this on. Again, watch the bulb. Yeah, I hear the click as well, and it came on. So, these power up, interesting. Let's just have a quick look at the voltage. Oh, shit. This is number two, so again, we'll just reattach the power. The capacitors are discharged. We did it before. Okay, so those are on. The RAM is in. I've just left it in there. No graphics card at the moment. Let's see what codes we get out of this. Okay, so switch on. Does it start? Yes, and it's booting. And the camera fell over and you didn't see it. <laughs> okay, this happens, guys, when you're making YouTube videos. Oh, ah, see, 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 oh, ah, oh, ah, see, oh, ah, see, 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 hi, guys, hi, guys, welcome to Winning Electronics Repair. There's no RAM on this one, but we have the analyzer card, I have the speaker on off switch so we can boot this up okay see if it does anything well it doesn't do anything at all oh pull the power wheel. oh ah see see oh ah see see hi guys welcome to learning electronics repair hi guys welcome to learning electronics repair i have another for nursey device here. This is a Hi guy. Hi guy. Hi guys. What? Hi guys. Welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have another device from Fenersi today. This is an oscilloscope. Scope. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. It's time, it's time to try it, then I've connected it all back up on... Uh, and there we are, so my power supply is slightly leaning over, <laughs> really. We have uh, the leads from the power supply, so I'm just going to connect them onto here. This is the ground, or 0 volts. Uh, the orange wire is the power in, 5 volts. And this should now work. So, oops, get a connection on it. And it does, we see a green light's gone here, yeah. the thing's working. There we go. And if you look at the power supply, 
60 milliamps, which is what it was drawing mm. previously. So, so we don't even get more or less power, so power drain. Uh, yeah. In fact, we could even prove this is working properly because if we go to the pins on the display, when I was here before, we had 4.1 volts. In the okay. episode before this. Episode before, which, by the way, I will link from the video description. So we have the wrong way round. We have Strange, the... I never care about this because I know that I only want to mention... Well, you watch. know, I'd agree with that, but you'd be surprised how many subscribers want to know why it's running on a negative supply. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, I need to put the uh, thing into the right place. Oh, oh, we're... we're, we're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It was even telling me to stick this into the right mm. place. You never listen to the above meter. No. <laughs> I had these on milliamps and that light went out, so that was a bad sign, yeah. <laughs> How to blow the fuse in your multimeter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've been there. Ooh, five. five. Okay. Five point something, yeah. Yeah, I slipped and it went off. Okay. 5.035. Putting it on? Yeah. I'm not sure if it was in here. <laughs> we hope you were. I'm in there. You're. <laughs> no, I am. Okay, well, if Detlef wasn't there before, he's yeah. there now. So, this is the board I was describing. This is where the BNC fits onto here, so the BNC connector. I've lost the bloody thing. And I think the other one on the previous video, once we replaced these short circuit MOSFETs and we changed that module, that'd be good as well. Okay, let me know. Let's see if this boots off the hard drive. I think I'll just load the BIOS defaults on this. So I'm getting to the BIOS. I have the capture card attached. No, I don't actually. We're ready to go. Oh, not actually. Not ready. Short. And then we have a um, MOSFET again, 2N. No, sorry. And then we have another MOSFET, 23N20D. It's stuck to my fingers. <laughs> okay, so I've put the graphics card back in. I've attached the capture card again. There it is. Let's see if this will boot up and then we the number one, two, three, and four. So number three is lit. I'm sure I can find the user manual. Tell me what that actually means. I'm suspecting it means that it can't boot because there's no OS. So let's Most likely it means there's nothing for it to boot from. Okay, I've attached the hard drive. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, see, 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 oh, ah, see. See, see, see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See. Well, this is the little PCB. I guess we can call it the input PCB with the various. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so the 4 a.m. moment. A couple things occurred to me. One strange. And that's the, when I disconnected the power to the main amplifier, and I powered this up, I still had both protect or fault lights on. Now, considering that the front display, that this part, is only connected via a ribbon cable to here, yeah, and the 24 volt and 15 volts, plus and minus on here, are all derived from here, 
basically. Oh no. We are ready to try, so power on. Does it start? No. Not at all. Nothing. We are ready to try, so power on. Does it start? Oh, it started. I'll switch this on again. Let's see what the bulb does. Well, this time it didn't do any. Oh. I'll switch this on again. Let's watch that bulb again. There it is. So we have two uh, 72 watt bulbs here, so 144 watt. So this should light up a lot dimmer, allow this to draw more current. And we'll, and that might mean that the minus 15 is actually correct, okay? So the first thing we'll actually do is switch this on. See, I told you things go wrong when you're on video. Yeah, I told you this would happen. Okay, hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you all very soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Merry Christmas, guys.